Good afternoon, sir. Dab lot. What are you doing here on a Friday? Mate, I don't know. Is it something to do with the fact that the beast scared us both and told us we couldn't drop our video <laughs> until he was ready to drop his video? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, we did something cool this week, me, Dav, and a couple of other guys, yes. uh, Eddie Hall and Sylvain Gintoli, but we're all gonna drop the video at the same time. So we had planned to drop it tonight, and we're not allowed. So, a smash ready intro, and in my absence, I dictorally, dictorally, no, dictor, what, when you're a dictator, what do you do? dictator -y, I told Carl to take the nobler part, right? There we go. You went full boss man. I went full boss yeah. man. So the good side about this is, is now Carl knows where everything goes. So when it comes to putting it back together, yep. that's a Carl problem. <laughs> what do you think about that, is there? Well, it'll be a few years time, so Wee! I might have forgotten <laughs> by then. You might have retired by then. <laughs> oh, here we go. Everyone's hey. a smart ass today. <laughs> right, let's get through the intro. We've got to take a drive shaft out. I'll be honest. You haven't missed much with what we've taken out because it would have been Carl stood there, swearing, throwing a hammer at stuff and using an angle grinder. But we'll run through on the floor the bits and pieces anyway we've taken out. So it's yep. literally, I've just taken a few bolts out for the back engine mount. Uh, we've got to take that drive shaft out and then we're gonna lift it out. Let's do it. So let's do it, because Dad's got to get home. <laughs> Go on in. Right, we have a seized shaft. Ready? Yeah. Ricky's got a whacker. Oh, that's Damn. it, that's as far as it'll go. Right. Oosh! Add it to the pile. Right, that is out. I still haven't got that bit out, but that bit's out. So. I don't know how that is all coming out, but... Oh no. <laughs> it looks like it needs to come out. But a big old angle. You can see the cogs turning. Yeah. I think everything is loose. So it's literally engine mount bar and the same the other side. So let's put some strappings on it. Strappings. There we go. That's it, mate. This is where we need Eddie Hall. Oh no, right. He used to be. He could untwist the car off the bolt. He just picked the car up. Yeah. Shake all the, at least he could shake all the rest off there. Yeah. You alright? Yeah. Yeah. Right. So he was, um, he was an HGV mechanic while he was still training for the World's Strongest Man. Was he? Yeah. So he was doing like an eight hour day and then training. Oh, right Davla, engine mount off. Yes. That noise in the background is just another Lamborghini. Just another one. I've got a really hearty shot there underneath the uh, engine frame. Look at that. What, me taking bolts out? Framed it and everything with my uh, support breast cancer ratchet. <laughs> Go on, it's getting there. It's my arms are. Hurting. Oh. Yeah, it's not what you need, but you just smashed your arm up racing, yeah. is it? But that, I'm a hero. There you go, see? No, it's if I can't do the work, I'll be told I'm not allowed to race it. <laughs> right. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. We're getting watched by the guys who set all UK pricing for R8 parts. So, what's your email address, Rich? Overpriced, man. <laughs> yeah. They're not really. They're just the guys who support, who look after all the parts we buy. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Maybe we should put their. Uh, Hi, guys. Hi, uh, Hello. How are you going? Good. Cool. Yeah, good, thanks. Lovely job. Should we put their email address in the bot in the description below? Yeah. I suppose if they get the beers in. Yeah. We thought we'd come and watch the produce at work. Yeah. 
Right. That's a feature of the Noble build, isn't it? Or the, the Noble disassemble. Parts clanging on the floor. Looks is wobbling. Well, it's loose. The only thing holding it in now is the wiring loom, so. Look at it, it's moving. That is actually really satisfying seeing that come loose. You've got a sad life if you think that is satisfying me. <laughs> I think we might have a rip problem in a minute and I'm going to run out of height. Like you get that out of the way and you think, yeah, 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 you're flying, and then yeah. you realise, oh, we're nowhere near. Come on, it's out! Now we, well, can, put, uh, we can put a decent engine in now. <laughs> look at that, look at all that shit. Let's have a look. You gunky. Gunky. So, yeah. It's alright. So, Apologies again with the audio because we have got a V10 running in the background. But it is a working workshop. A work, well, one of us works. That's well, alright, that. We, no more big surprises looking down here now you can see. No, no, like we're, we know we're going to change all the gear cables anyway. Yeah. We're going to put a different selector in, so we we'll take that out. Uh, I'm going to change the off hydraulic power steering, so we know we're going to do that and we convert the rack, so someone's reached out to me about that. Yep. Um, I'm gonna relocate the battery. So all we gotta do now is carry on stripping the chassis to allow us to send it off. Yeah. So yeah, we just keep we just keep going now, but that is engine out, mate. So engine out. there's water pump, which is driven off the back of the camshaft. So this majority of this is going to end up getting replaced, I think. Yeah. When you're doing a sort of the engine build, this is, I imagine these will be pennies. So, yeah. Cam cover's done. Obviously, the aqua blaster is being wired in and piped in next week. Cool. So, we can start using that. I've got to put a diff in it. Uh, we got inlet manifold, so. Yeah. It looks alright. Jobs are good in me. Jobs are good in me. Happy days. So. Do we have a very quick recap on what the plans are with the engine? Uh, I'm going to put a set of pistons in it. It's yeah. already got it's already got arrow rods, yeah. so I'm going to put a set of CPs in it. Yeah. I'm going to obviously balance it, do the heads, probably put, do a bit of head work. Uh, we'll put a set of valve springs in it. I'll probably put a brand new set of valves in it. Yeah. Set of valve springs, timing chains, bearings, gasket seals, redo all the cases. Um, the gearbox, I will probably just refresh it, check the inside, put bearings in it, put a diff in it. Yeah. We got new exhaust manifolds. I'm going to put a pair of turbos on it, new turbos. Uh, we got a new fuel system to go on. Uh, so what I will do is I'll probably take some height out of the tank. Yeah. Uh, and then basically put our QSST in that kit I showed you last week. Yeah, that was true. So we'll put that in. Um, what else? We've got to gut the chassis, lift the body off, um, and then the chassis can go away. So that's the next race now, is a race to get it to a bare chassis. Yep. So we can send it off, get it stripped. I was gonna try and do all the repairs before I sent it away, but I think I'm gonna get it stripped, then look and see what damage we've got, then do our repairs, 
because if I get it done and then it comes back and I've got patches to make or anything like that, I'm going to be pissed off. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think what we'll do next week, uh, I'm not here Tuesday because it's Callum's birthday, so maybe Wednesday is we'll start tearing that down or something over in the engine corner. Yeah, yeah. But good to have like, yeah. a, a positive Noble update. Yeah. Well, what, do you mean as in I've done work? <laughs> no, not, not finding stuff that's worse. Yeah, I, that's kind of cool. That's a big step for me now. Yeah. So, it's out. So now my fun bit can begin because I don't do rust. Um, so I think we'll probably do a little video next week of it stripping down. I've got to do a little bit on Josh's bike as well. So we've got a couple of good ones coming up. Um, what I would say is uh, my thoughts are with Talia Reese. Um, Damon Reese was riding for Binch Racing. Uh, he's a lad that was in the EBC brake test we did at Coombe um, and he passed away this morning. Uh, he was taken poorly on Monday, it wasn't racing related, he was 28, been married six months. So all my love to Damo, he was a lad, Australian lad, came over here to race, worked, worked to pay for his racing in good teams um, and yeah, was taken poorly so life's too fucking short so get on with whatever you love and live every day and I think we'll leave it at that dad so we'll see you later wise words dude see you later